Hello, this is David Birch at Starpath School of Navigation in Seattle with a uh, exercise using OpenCPN to plot a running fix. And uh, this is going to be, again, we have some other videos on this. This is from the 1210TR uh, workbook. And um, actually, in working this problem, I discovered the answer in the book is, in, the, in this edition of the book is wrong. So we'll have to fix that. Um, so there is an errata now. Uh, there'll be an errata on that. This is the right answer to the problem. So here's the area. We're sailing somewhere down here. And uh, the course is 284 magnetic, and the speed is 5 knots. And now, again, I want to stress, this is a, book, a problem from a textbook that's using a running fix off of this spire right here. Uh, this is a spire, and sure enough, it's marked conspicuous and so forth, but it's not, uh, almost certainly not visible out here five or six miles away. You maybe, I don't know, but it, uh, maybe not. On the other hand, all of this works exactly the same way. It's an exercise in learning how to do the plotting. So imagine, for example, that this is a bright, a very bright light, and then it's very easily seen this far out. And it would be in a case of like a fog, uh, you could have just one bright light showing. And again, what are we doing with this exercise? We're actually solving chart problems that you would do with paper and pencil and a paper chart, and we're just doing it electronically. So this would imply that, uh, what, what, what are we doing? We're either, we're either working on a boat where we've lost the GPS, but we have our compass and normal other, all other sort of standard piloting tools are available, but um, we're having to do our plotting then with this electronic way. Or you're simply studying a textbook studying a textbook on navigation and working your problems with an electronic chart rather than paper chart. In most cases, they're the same. Um, if done carefully, you can generally do more accurate plotting with the, with the electronic chart. So with that said, so we're down here somewhere, and what's going on here at 1745, the vessel sees this light bearing 380 magnetic. 380 magnetic and this this chart is set to magnetic and then an hour later an hour later it sees it at 18 magnetic so uh, in some other videos we showed a trick where I could you know like draw what is this one 330 I could draw 330 that way and then just run right back and do it that way and not have to get out my arithmetic uh, device, a calculator, but we could also look here. If this thing is bearing 330, from the boat it bears 330, then from the light it would bear 180 different, which is 150. So we can plot from these. So let's just start that way, and we take uh, just a, the tool like we're going to make. A, I want to start at the right spot here. And then, okay, here, I want to get right on that guy, say. All right. And then I'm coming down. Uh, what are we after? 150. Okay. So here's 145. One, just when it changes. Oh, wait. Just when it changes. Okay, I'll call that. Okay. So that's the first one. Then we, an hour later, the bearing is 18 which is 198 viewed from the other direction. So here we go, 198, and then that's 198. Here's a 196, 97, just when it changes first on an increasing skip bang. Okay, that's 198. All right, so there's, uh, there's our navigation. That's really the full part of the navigation. At 1745, we know we were somewhere on this line here. At 1845, we know we were somewhere on this line. We just don't know where. And so we're, now our process is doing what's called a running fix to find out where we are. Because what we do know is what, which direction we were going. We were 284 magnetic at speed of 5 knots. And one hour, that's 5 miles. So let's say, for example, let me just randomly guess that I was here, say, right, like this. So um, let me come in here. 
I'm using the keys. Okay, let me come in and just say, uh, let me just, I know at 1700, 1745 I was here. So I'm going to just take some random point here. And then I'm going to go, well, look at that. Here's five miles at 284. Right there is five miles at 284. Stop. Bang. So obviously I was not here because I know that I went five miles in direction 284 and ended up on this line down here. So let me just, okay, let me just go on again. Let me assume I was here. So if I assume I was here and sought that, then I go a five, oh, five, oh, five miles in 284. 284, five mile, bang, okay, escape. Okay, so look, what do we know here? So I was obviously not here because I don't get there. I was not here because I overshoot it. I'm somewhere in here, so I just exactly hit it. So there's several ways to do this at this point. Um, normally, what you would do on your chart paper is you would draw these two lines in. Then you would take your parallel rulers and just grab this guy and move him out to here and draw it again. Now we can effectively do that. We can just effectively do that because we've got, well, I've got two lines. I don't even need two. But I could go here, for example, and then just uh, let me get another line going here and then just go right up here like this, right? Through there. Okay, escape. And so here, is, this is the fix, then is right here, you see, because here, here you would be leaving here and go five miles uh, 284 and you're going to end up right here. So that's the answer right there. And that's, uh, that's one way to solve it. Another way you could solve it is just imagine you just took one of these places. Well, let me just pick a different place. Now I know what direction this guy's going up here. He's going up. If I'm going that way, he's going uh, 330, 330. This is the one that's 18 going that way. So I could just take some random place here, right? M, start here. Oh, no, I don't want M. I got, I got something that lasts, okay. Go here. Now I could just go here. Let me go here. And I'm going to go, oh, I've got the line already. Okay, wait a minute. Let me get rid of this line. Well, let me put my, well, it doesn't matter. Our fix is about there. Okay, so let me just get rid of this method here. No, wait a minute. I have the fix plot. Let me just see. Okay, there's a correct answer. Ah, pretty close. Not exact but pretty close. So that's a correct answer. So let me just get rid of that solution that we did here, delete. Okay, yes, I'll delete that. So now, let's just say you go some random place here, and you could just say I come over here, and then I'm going to use this tool, and I'm going to go 284, 284, and I'm going to go five miles, five miles, 284, Bang there, and then I'm just going to start heading north at three. Th no, what was it? Three thirty, three thirty, like that. Three thirty, three thirty m, like this. Say nine, three thirty. Okay, bang like that. Okay, and then I can find it that way. So that's another. Uh, that's another approach. Once you once you understand the philosophy of the the philosophy of the um, running fix, then you, you then various solutions come to mind. You don't have to memorize any particular any particular trick. But here's another just sort of standard technique. Um, uh, standard technique would be that I plot the second line. Uh, I plot the second line here. That's where I want the fix on this line here. Then I want to advance this one. Now one way you can advance a line is just advance the target. This is done in, in celestial navigation sometimes. But So I could just advance this guy and then draw this line, you see. And that's going to, and you'll see what happens. If I advance this guy five, uh, five miles, there's five, oh, there's five miles, direction 284. 
stop. 284, five miles, stop. Okay. So I've advanced him. That's like the lighthouse, the spire, went that many miles. And then from here, I can then just draw back the bearing, which is the back direction on the 330, which is one. Uh, 330 is 150. So then you draw another one back from here. So, you, and and then you go back. You see here's one, one four. Uh, okay, let's go. Got to go increase the numbers. In other words, don't go down here and just turn to. I'm up a big number. I'm going down to 150 and stopping. That's not right because then you just went it in like 150.8. 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Okay, so you see, you want to come and get the numbers bigger. So 149, 150, stop, bang. Okay, so there's there's that. So that's uh, that's the uh, that's the uh, that's the way the running fixes. You 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 have one line, you know you're on that at that time. You have another line, you know you're on that at that time, and you have to somehow with your various plotting techniques figure out how do I get from this line to that line, doing what I know I did. Now, let me, I just want to show in this particular problem, see, I got this, and that was not what's in the textbook. That's not what's in the book. So there's, as so I double check this, double check this answer here, you see this answer here, properties, there's that answer, 15.8, yeah, that's what I copied there. So the other way, let me just see what I've got here, preview. Okay, so here's a, this is, what is this? This is our star pilot calculator. It's distance by two bearings. Actually, um, so I'm just showing you that this works. And these are two relative bearings. And so it's 46 and, uh, cancel, just a minute, cancel. Wait a minute, I don't want to, okay. Uh, but you get, so in other words, the fix is going to be 4.84 miles on down from the target on the second bearing. And so that, um, that method, okay, so here, what's going on here? Let me, let me remind you of this method. Because these things, the, the geometry of these bearing fixes and fixed by two bow angles, that's all really the same thing. So you see, we're, what we're doing here, let me get another line. And this is just, okay, so I'm just going to start out. I'm going to just pretend somewhere I'm here. Okay, so, and I'm going uh, direction 284, oh, 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 283, 4, increasing numbers, 284, okay. That's where I'm going. So, um, my first, let's see, I am going the angle on the bow. See, I'm going this way. This, this is the angle on my bow. So this is 40, if I take a 284 minus 330, figure that angle, that's 46 degrees on the starboard bow this way. And then after an hour, the bearing is 94 degrees on the bow. So those two bearings and the distance run between them, that solves this triangle and everything. So that solves your position for you. And that answer was uh, a 4.84 along the second bearing. So we this fix then should be, if I go here and go here, if I, now you have to, okay. Well, see, there's uh, there's 4.84, right? Somewhere in there, something like that. So that's another way, in a sense, this doing, and that's doing it with tables. There's tables in Bowditch that do that. Our calculator does it. But look, you can also go to uh, Star. Uh, starpath.com slash calc that's our these are calculators online and then distance of an object by two bearings and if you click that you get this page you put in the 46 you put in the 94 and you put in the distance run that's all there is to the geometry and you get 4.84 miles uh, nautical miles from the target along the second line of position so a running fix 
and a fix by two bow angles, essentially the same thing. And you have all the tools there in a, a charting tool like OpenCPN to work those out.